Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Today, um, we have a little bit of a, a sad story. This is a crime scene cleanup murder situation that uh, actually the detectives just uh, opened a house this morning. My mom got murdered early in the morning by my own cousin's boyfriend. She was badly murdered, um, beaten and stabbed to death. All right, well, hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, so uh, Ed and Chris is holding Decon, Southwest Florida. Today, um, we have a little bit of a, a sad story. This is a crime scene cleanup murder situation that uh, actually the detectives just uh, opened a house this morning. The daughter of the, the mother that was the victim here was here this morning with the detectives. So I think they got everything opened up to the crime scene, so now we can go in and do our job. Yeah, so I got a phone call from um, the client, um, probably about seven days ago, actually the day that it happened, uh, she called me, um, you know, a little bit in shock, um, you know, talking very rapidly and, um, you know, trying to tell her story, obviously very upset because this was her mother. Yeah, circumstances are, are tragic. Unfortunately, this uh, individual uh, came into her home, um, attacked her, um, and then barricaded himself in the home and uh, was eventually uh, arrested. Uh, he did manage to make it out of a back door and he ran down the street and he was captured uh, in front of a school, not, not that far, but you know, thank goodness uh, he was apprehended. He is in custody now. And uh, you know, the unfortunate results are, you know, it falls back on to our client now to, you know, reach out to us um, and, uh, you know, employ our services to uh, come out and, and clean this up. You know, she was fortunate enough to reach out to a uh, advocacy uh, for the city, which we are in conjunction with. So we were uh, fortunate enough now that we are all working together to get her some coverage monetary coverage uh, for this uh, incident. So uh, any 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 little bit helps. Our deal here today is we're gonna go in and clean up the scene. It really involves uh, two rooms. Uh, looks like there was, uh, this thing was a blunt force trauma murder scene and, uh, and apparently there was some dragging that was involved and so the body kind of laid in two different spots at different times uh, as, as the blood trail tells us so we're really just glad that we can uh, you know get this you know I, I know uh, the client daughter uh, she is just so over it at, at this point in time I guess yeah. so it was about a right. week ago this originally seven, happened. Seven days today. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, she, you know, at this point, she's really trying to turn the page and, and get on with life. So that's what we're here. Service we'll be able to offer today is, uh, you know, at least uh, there's no more memory and visible uh, aspects of this. And, and uh, they can start the, the healing process. Uh, so. He's branded now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got his, uh, got his he's shirt official. on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so this is Bobby. He's joining us. And... Uh, you know, this is going to be his first uh, crime scene, so, yep. you know, I think he's ready for it, you know, and uh, I'm going to be the runner, so whatever these two guys tell me they need, I'm going to run back out here to the truck, run it over there to them. Uh, that way, you know, Ed can work just solely with Bobby walking them through all the steps and getting them a good education and a good good training on, on the, uh, the whole process. I wanted to see how far over here this goes. Look, you can see the footprint show up. Oh, wow. I couldn't even see that footprint. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, what we're seeing is a little bit of remnants from uh, this morning um, when the detectives were here. Uh, they've actually marked uh, uh, where you see these uh, yellow stickies. It says E for evidence. There's blood. Uh, so there's actually blood right here on the uh, bed sheet. Yeah. Evidence, I mean, they're done with They're done. It. Okay. They're done. Okay. And then that's, look, there's one on the floor right there with a B. Part A helps go into the pores of the concrete and pull, pull the blood to the surface so that okay. we can then 
uh, you, we'll use the uh, extractor. We'll extract and everything, uh -huh. and then we'll go to the point where we'll keep coming back with, with indicator uh -huh. until it doesn't uh, light up anymore. Okay. This is where you want to make sure you don't, uh, this can go in uh, Biohazard? Yeah. Yeah. Extractor. I'm gonna go get the extractor, breaking this down and sucking it up through the extractor. daughter of the victim is very involved, uh, very emotional, very outspoken, dealing with that emotional side of it and trying to be supportive. And then, you know, the unfortunate thing is, you know, we're in the middle of this pandemic wearing masks and you can't hug somebody, you know, you can't express your sympathy other than to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel like I've said that, you know, so many times, you know, and yeah, I like to give people hugs. So it's been I, that's I been difficult she, for me. Yeah, I think she needed a hug. Yeah, I think you, you can tell the aunt did too. Yeah, yeah. This was you know the aunt came down and you know she kind of stands in the doorway and looks and then has her breakdown. Can't do a whole lot to console this person, which would totally be different from my nature if we weren't in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> My mom got murdered on October 14th, early in the morning by my own cousin's boyfriend. And um, she was badly murdered, um, beaten and stabbed to death. Um, due to that fact, um, I had contacted your company to come out to clean my mom's home. You guys have been very nice, very generous towards me. You have respected me the whole time and never once disrespected me and I really do appreciate it. And you've sent your condolences to me and my family and I really do appreciate it. Probably about 10 years ago, I had worked for 24 seven cleaning and restoration. I did it for about a year and did just a couple of jobs with the bio cleanup and a couple of jobs similar to this um, and a couple that are worse than this and it's not an easy job it's a very you know hard consistent job to do and um, I really do appreciate what you guys are doing because um, some people don't have the stomach for this and not very many people want to do the job that you're doing. Tina no thank you for reaching out to oh, us and I'm really glad that we can help you and you know getting the advocate involved is was yes. crucial for you yes. i know that yes you know. very very crucial yeah they've been helpful and, and your boss that's just an outstanding thing for yes him. yeah well we want to restore the property and get it back to you know as good a condition as we can and hand it back over to you so like you said you can just be done with yeah this and just get the stuff that i work. yes and go back <laughs> go to back work to and work. you know you know get the personal belongings of my mother's mm -hmm. out of the home so you know I can have more peace of mind and I don't have to come back here and be reminded of yeah, what happened yeah. inside this house. Yeah, well, we're really glad we could help you with that. Thank you very so much. Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate it. I give you a hug, but due to COVID, know, we can't do this. I know. <laughs> Fist bump. I know, right? Fist bump. <laughs> I said that at the very beginning of this. I said, you know, when when you when you guys came up, you know, my nature is to hug people. And, yeah. You know, with this, it's like, no, fist bumps. Just, yes. <laughs> just be strong. Don't let things get to you because when things get to you in life, that's when bad things happen and just be strong through these times it's really hard for me and to get through this but i have some family behind me and friends and family co-workers that have been behind me 100 percent through this and if you have somebody to lean on really lean on them and ask them for encouragement so that you can get through these troubling times like i am now you'll get through this it gets harder and harder but it will get easier and easier eventually in life. Just think positive and you'll get through it 100%. Blood, especially in the, the concrete, but when it sits for a week like this, uh, yeah, it's, it, it becomes a whole different level of trying to, trying to get it uh, extracted out of the concrete and cleaned off the surfaces. 
looking at what this blue stuff is yet? That I'm wasn't seeing. something from the, the yeah. uh, police? Detectives? Yeah. yeah. Their it's version like of indicator. More evidence and little stickies over there. Yeah, well, she definitely evidence. was laying here trying to grab a hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if she laying here, I think this is all her trying to grab a hold of this table. We are uh, removing a uh, parquet wood floor that was uh that was well cemented to the <laughs> to the uh foundation so uh so it's a little difficult uh a lot of times if these are on top of a sub floor plywood sub floor uh, they come off a lot easier as far down as it went so right probably about a two and a half foot area so all that that's foaming is blood uh yeah it's indicating blood and when we originally we came in there was a stream coming down here and it looked like it might have just been a little area like this but you can see when we pull that out it actually went a little bit of both directions I believe was the uh, perpetrator. The body didn't seem to go any further than this, but uh, there were footprints over over here at the sink and over by the refrigerator. So that's why we're over here. All right. Well, we are in the uh, we're in the home stretch here. We have uh, all the uh, contaminated flooring up. Uh, what we're going to do is go back through. There's definitely some areas in the on the concrete and now some of the exposed concrete from under the parquet flooring that we need to. Uh, continue to treat and do with the extractor so that's kind of the phase we're, we're at right now all the walls and baseboards and trims and tabletop flat surfaces that uh, were contaminated are, are decontaminated so um, really it's about the floors right now so the extractor so what i'm doing is i'm putting a uh, the uh, hospital grade disinfectant and cleaning solution in here uh, so we're going to go through uh, we have uh, the floor being treated right now with some of our pr proprietary chemicals mm -hmm. and uh, so we're, we'll go through then with the uh, extractor and and I'll put another uh, another treatment on there and then we'll continue this process our job here is done when uh, extract everything out of the out of the concrete thank you so the extractor kind of lays down shock wave while simultaneously vacuuming it. that is correct yes We just uh, cleaned the kitchen area, but that, that's where the largest pool of blood was, and this is probably the second largest pool of blood. Originally, the body was laying here, and then I guess he uh, drug her uh, in there and kind of uh, was kind of barricading in that area. Good thing is he's uh, where he's where he's supposed to be right now. Getting, uh, as a matter of fact, I think they said he was uh, maybe pleading uh, insanity. Had some. Uh, additional issues. This is the final, final go through one last time. Make sure we didn't leave any lights on. Make sure we didn't leave any equipment. You know, um, just one last final sweep um, of everything. Looks pretty good as opposed to the way we found it. So we're pleased with that. And you know, now code enforcement can come back in and uh, take the sign down off the door. And uh, you know, the homeowner said that she will probably never uh, do anything with this place uh, ever again. This was, you know, her sister's um, home. And uh, you know, it's very difficult for her to come down here and still remember and imagine, you know, what, what happened. Here. So she's just going to just leave it for now and maybe never do anything with it. So. Bobby, you survived your first uh, bio cleanup. I did. How do you feel I about did. it? I feel good. It wasn't yeah. that bad, considering. Excited to do more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, bad in the sense of, uh, you know, the, yeah, the blood the, and everything. Yeah. Not so bad, but 
that, that floor was, uh, it was was hard work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That might have been the hardest workout the last couple of days. Probably, huh? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thought it was going to be easier. You thought shoveling hoard was hard. Yeah, huh? I actually, I, I like the hoarding. I don't mind the hoarding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what's your wife think about you doing this? Um, I told her about it last week when you had mentioned it to me. She's like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it should be. Yeah. So she's like, I'm telling everybody at work and they think it's cool. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll see. But wait, wait till they, us. well, we'll get some uh, stuff up on Instagram or whatever. And you know, so, you know. Yeah, yeah say hi to wait. your wife from YouTube. Yeah. Hi to my wife from YouTube, Ashley <laughs> Guzman. <laughs> Happy eight years, yeah, you guys. Yeah, eight years. Well, we feel great that it's uh, that it's over, that it's done. Uh, it, it was uh, probably a little more difficult than, than uh, certainly than I anticipated. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly because of parquet flooring. Anybody who knows anything about that? It's just little slats of wood, squares, and unidirections, and uh, on on concrete. So, uh, and it was glued glued down something fierce, but uh, our client her being here today was uh kind of helped help me feel pretty good that she's i mean first she's you know really really nice uh nice person and everything but uh, how she's handling this and you know then we learned a little bit more about uh you know her background and some of the things that uh, she's uh, had to deal with and uh, so I, I feel good that we were able to help out here today yeah and she's very appreciative of what we've done for her yeah she did hang out with us quite a bit and, and shared shared a lot i think that's kind of cathartic for some people you know i mean she talked a lot about her mom and some of the memories that she has of this property you know because she came here i think in the 90s uh, late 90s and um, can remember some of the fun times that they had around here and the neighbors and everything so yeah. I think it's a little cathartic for her to be able to tell us this kind of stuff about her mom. Yeah, well it's a pretty cool property uh, we certainly see back in its day you know this thing was an estate and uh, that's what I count seven seven car garage, garage over here so mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it was a mechanic or a, a business or just a uh, car collector but uh, see you guys next see time. Ya. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.